so hey guys this came to whatever I'm Kirsten and welcome back to another vlog so this today is Monday and I just got done editing and uploading the vlog that comes out tomorrow as well as get ready for it travel diary videos so all of our vlogs that we took on our trip to Las Vegas for our 10 year anniversary is now going to be up this coming week and I think the last video I believe is so you'll have two videos as this video comes out um, on the same day so um yeah and then I think the last video is tomorrow um, as you are seeing this so I do need to throw in some laundry because um, I wanted to get my editing done but I did get that done so now I'm gonna throw in some laundry um, as well as shoot um, for a another video that Chris and I are kind of shooting here or there um, I'm trying to organize it a little bit because it's a little bit crazy and hectic but I try to shoot what I can of that so yeah I'm gonna get some laundry going So hey guys, today is Tuesday and I am going to be working on laundry at some more. I did get a couple loads of laundry done yesterday um, and Chris had a load of laundry to do yesterday which is why I didn't get as much done as I would normally get, to get done. So I do have a few more loads of laundry to get caught up on just due to the uh, cleaning of our house and washing everything that we own. So, Let's do that. Let's throw in a load of laundry. <laughs> guys so I was gonna say that Chris actually came home early today um, before lunch period actually and we ate lunch together and then Chris just got a fire call so he had to leave again to go do that alrighty so hey guys today is Wednesday and I do have a load of dishes that I need to unload and reload as well as folding up my clothes load from yesterday that I did a little bit later and we have a storm approaching us. Um, Chris is still not home yet, but oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Um, it is windy and it is raining. You can kind of see it bouncing. See it now. Really raining now. Wind definitely picked up. Degrees out all week. We were wondering where the severe weather was. There it is. It's coming. How gnarly that looks. Wind's picking up. Lightning. It's probably 60 degrees out right now. It is freaking cold. Oh, and I'm starting to feel
Lily Hale. It's about a quarter size. Fun stuff. It's coming down. Look at the pretty sky. Alrighty, so hey guys, today is currently Friday, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. And just work on cleaning, I guess. Um, and Chris is getting so close to being completely done with his book work for his CDL stuff um, <clears throat> through the college. So hopefully he'll get that done either tonight or this weekend, and then hopefully by next weekend he can go take that test and be completely done um but i don't know so we'll see how this goes checking cameras today it's currently friday waiting for dad i want cameras back there and i got shorts on so i was not about to walk back there Galaxy. I got Toby's light color on because as you can see it's like 11 o'clock at night. So here we go. <laughs> Look at him out there. I don't know what he's doing. Probably or looking. He's probably staring at us honestly. Look at him. He's just standing there staring at us. <laughs> Okay. 
Are you all tired now? Okay, so yesterday was Sunday and all we did yesterday was go to a fire meeting so I didn't vlog anything which I will show you all the security footage I have because at the time it was so hectic I could not record it. We were just sitting there, we got closer to bedtime so we had to get off our games and I got off my game and was waiting for Chris to get off his game and nothing crazy was happening at this time. So Chris got off his game and when he did that we um, went to go get up and Chris noticed that he was wet. He had no idea why. He looks down and there was blood all over the couch, all over him. And the only thing that I could think of is like, Panda is bleeding because Panda is the one that was sleeping with him. We looked all over at her. She had blood all over her paw, her back paws. Both of her back paws had blood all over them. And then her front paw had some dried little spot. And then her front elbow had a big gash in it. Um, or a cut or whatever. Um, so we tried to clean all the blood off of her the best we can. We could, we got the bleeding to stop on her elbow. Um, I tried to patch her up, but unfortunately, just due to the area and how small she is, it just didn't work the way we wanted it to. Um, so we put a coat on her so she wouldn't lick it and like infect it or anything. Um, so this is the first time she's had a cone on since she got fixed like eight years ago. So like, that's crazy. Um, but the, we had no idea how it happened. We have no idea where it started. We have no idea any of it um, because we were like, the dogs didn't get into it because they were both sleeping and we would have heard something and yelled at them. It was a relatively quiet night. She didn't yelp, she didn't bark, she didn't make any noise. Like we had no idea this happened until we got up and saw the blood everywhere and then saw she was bleeding and then, you know, trying to figure out what, what to do. Um, the only conclusion at the time that I could come up with is maybe she jumped up on the couch and got caught and like snapped, snagged it. I just thought maybe she laid on some of her toys um, and got cut up. But I reviewed the footage of the security camera, which I can show you everything that we have. But it does not give you a clear idea. Um, my assumption is maybe when she went to go get up, she must have got it caught on something on the couch. And maybe that's what cut her. Thank you. 